As internet technologies continue to rapidly develop, various digital products such as mobile phones, tablets, PCs, internet TVs and smart speakers all require network access. How can users quickly and conveniently access the internet in a secure manner? And how can carriers manage and control users? These questions can be answered through broadband access control and authentication technologies. Conventional IP protocols do not provide the authentication function. If carriers providing network access services need to manage user access in certain public spaces, residential areas, schools or enterprises, the IP packets sent by users must be encapsulated into IPOE packets. These IPOE packets carry the physical and logical user information which can be used for authentication and authorization. Such technology used to transmit IP packets over Ethernet networks is called IPOE. The IPOE access mode is more flexible than other access modes and does not require installation of a dedicated client. This mode is ideal for new network devices such as smartphones, digital TVs and PSPs which can hardly support built-in PPPOE dial-up terminals. Now, let's take a look at how campus users are authenticated and access the Internet through IPOE. When a campus user accesses the campus network for the first time in a dormitory or office area, the user can connect directly through an electronic device, such as a mobile phone, tablet or laptop. The user opens an authentication page on the electronic device and enters the username and password for network access. The BRAS then encapsulates the username and password into a packet and sends the packet to the authentication server. Once authenticated, the user can fully access the Internet through the BRAS, which functions like a bridge. If the user is not authenticated but still requires Internet access, the BRAS forcibly pushes a page requesting the user to enter the username and password. Access to the Internet is permitted only after a correct username and password are entered. When an authenticated campus user accesses the Internet for a second time, the authentication server will associate the automatically recorded MAC address of the terminal with the user name. In this way, the user can repeatedly access the Internet during a set period without needing to re-enter the username and password. Campus networks also involve dumb terminals, such as printers and access control card readers. Typically, these devices are manually configured with fixed IP addresses. The BRAS identifies dumb terminals based on IP addresses and then connects the dumb terminals to the network. IPOE access technology eliminates the need for installing a client, which is both convenient and efficient. This approach reduces the maintenance workload of clients and facilitates the expansion of services on authentication pages, such as advertisement pushes, slogan promotions and relevant announcements. IPOE access is widely used for carrier networks, fast food chains, hotels and many other scenarios.